that's a little bit better to put yourself up here on the front row of the grid. Yeah, it certainly is. I've forgotten. Uh, I was sat in the pits there, and they said, "Oh, you need to go up to do the." The front row grid presentation. I'd forgotten even that that these existed. It's been that long. Um, no, I've had a. I, I can't even really put my finger on it. I, I, I haven't ridden that well in the last couple of rounds, and um, I didn't even start this weekend out that well. You know, what I mean, I sort of struggled a bit. I think going to Japan and different things hasn't uh, really helped matters, to be fair. But um, yeah, it seems like we've got things back on track now. I do love Thruxton Circuit, and. Um, now just questioning whether maybe I should have gone on a zero and I would have maybe got the pole position. But hey, at least we know we've got a good setup for the race. All right, Josh, great to see you back Thanks. up here on uh, the front row of the grid. What about Dan Linford? Uh, well, absolutely fantastic. Uh, Dan, you've got world championship experience, mate, but this this has got to put it in amongst there. Front row of a British Superbike Championship race. Culture plan bomb of Kawasaki done a mega job. Give me a mega fast bike. I mean, yeah, all good, all good in terms of that. And around here, you know, Thruxton's a fast track case of connecting the dots and when you come to the straight you open the throttle but yeah you still got to ride the thing we've been working away this morning we had a big electrical problem i had to push the bike back out half a mile this morning and lap one so uh if you'd have asked me this morning if i was going to be on the front row after pushing it back i'd have snapped my hand off you know but yeah really good uh, worked yesterday on trying to be consistent uh, obviously looking for, for sunday for race pace to be honest the lap then wasn't wasn't my fastest i went quicker in q2 i uh, got held up with another ride on the first lap and then uh went by myself for my, for my fast lap, which is good also because in the past I've been a bit of a, a chaser following other guys for my lap time, but now it's quite nice to be able to do it myself, you know, so uh, big thanks to the guys and uh, I just want to I just want to make a, a good result tomorrow now. Well, it was your auction day yesterday, mate, well hey, done. Thank you. <laughs> Gouba, congratulations. The Ducati has lots of history around Thruxton. Perhaps you can win as well tomorrow. Yeah, it's it's uh, really good to be on, uh, on the top in qualifying. I know it's not everything, but uh, for us is the uh, first season and uh, let's say Panigal the first uh, season getting some speed and uh, we are working really hard. So getting closer to the top, now we proved in qualifying and uh, hopefully we can uh, we can fight for the top uh, tomorrow. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. Well, the cosmopolitan nature of the MC Insurance British Superbikes once again evident here on the front row of the grid because we've got an Aussie, we've got a Czech rider and we've got a Yorkshireman on that front row of the grid as well. Well, who would have thought it that the Ducati Panigale took top spot around Thruxton, but what about it for Josh Brooks as well? He was out of sorts at Brands Hatch last time and also Dan Linfoot, a career first front row of the grid. It's going to be two cracking races around Thruxton.